So goals are very important. I had two, fitness goals and dietary goals. And what I found was someone challenged me to a race and then I'd get a training plan to work up to that race. And those were 10, 12 weeks. Well, then I found I'd just sign up for other races and keep training for races. That kept me accountable, kept my fitness goals within reach of losing about a half a pound per week. So I also watched what I put in my body too. And I used a calorie counting app and I realized one, one day when I first started, I was probably eating 500 to 750 calories per day too much. So I backed that off, started eating better, more healthy as well. And I realized I wasn't drinking enough water. So this new healthy lifestyle that you're finding yourself considering, I mean, it's a journey and it's gotta be a priority. And it starts at the grocery store, going in and getting things like bananas, uh, tomatoes, especially those cherry or grape kind, uh, lettuce to make a salad. Feel good about yourself and avoiding those middle aisles. For me, at night, chips or junk food, man, it's so easy to eat those and watch television. The other thing I would say is take time for yourself. You have to be a priority. Your rest has to be a priority. And so getting eight hours of sleep a night, if possible, is really something you should strive for. So what you eat is important. I've got my grocery list, head to the grocery store. Now, if you're not one of those people that can't cut cold turkey and just stop, and go 180 degrees in a healthy lifestyle direction, that's okay. Do it stages at a time. Buy some healthier food, snack on healthier food. And before you know it, you will be living a healthier lifestyle.